life. <laughs> Gribulation, that's why I read the title. Trials and Gribulation. Astounding gribulation. Fine, I hope you guys appreciate it. I am tearing myself away from, from the football to the stream today. I suppose I have about an hour, like a, a couple of matches just ended and they were gripping. Absolutely wild. The well, two matches are gonna start at three, and they're also gonna be completely batshit. And I'm like, ah, why today? Fine, we got, we got Phoenix right. It's, it's fine. The video games, they are a calling. All right. Well, last time we finished up case three, uh, we found out our imposter. We we uh, managed to make him. Uh, kind of, sort of, confess on the stand. Idiot. And, uh, we got pretty jam. We, we saved Maggie Bird, but, uh... Now we're going back to, sort of, the overarching, uh, storyline here. So we're going to Turnabout Beginnings, which is just, uh, it's a much shorter case. It's kind of like the first case. It's all just gonna be, uh, a trial day. And it is actually, the first case of this game was Mia's second court case, and they mentioned her for, first court case was a year before, and it had traumatized her so much she couldn't set foot in court for a year, so, uh, I guess we're about to find out why it was so, uh, so awful for her. Let's go. Never good to hold someone at gunpoint on a bridge like that. Bang. Splash. Things are all going very good, I see. Phoenix, right? On a laptop. He, he has a laptop? Can you afford one? Kidnapping, murder. Death penalty. I guess we're confirmed that kidnapping is also a crime in Japan, California. Like, he wasn't just charged with murder, so, like, kidnapping, there we go, we have a third crime in Japan, California. She was defending a death row inmate. Okay, great. Excellent. Dawn of the first day. 
blue with that set, however, and I will pet I will pet the dog. It seems like kind of a harsh case to <laughs> take for your first one. This looks like a very friendly guy. Hello. You know you don't have to- whoa! You don't have to carry your ball and chain. Hmm? <laughs> that's small, that's small talk. Whoa, whoa, dude, no, dude, dude, don't eat that, it's not edible! That's the face right there. Oh. Uh, I mean, sure. Uh huh. Yeah, you were in death row, and now you're no longer in. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no, the puppy dog eyes are out. Oh no. Oh. Sure. He's on death row for, for theft, though. Yeah, since him would die five years ago because he stole some stuff. Gentle, so, yeah, thank you for the resub, and you are guilty of reselling. It's terrible. Phoenix Wright will not defend you in court. Guilty of resubbing. But yes, five years ago, someone lied. He got convicted of murder, at least according to him. And then, according to him, he did not kill this policewoman who was chasing him. Ooh, hello. What? Sure, sure you can trust him. Alright, what's in here? Uh, our attorney's badge. Valerie's autopsy report. Stab with a knife in the back. Died from blood loss between four and five. What was all that stuff on the bridge then with a gunshot? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hey, hot boy. Perhaps a familiar looking uh, beard and earrings. Perhaps a familiar-looking smug grin. <laughs> Who is this dashingly handsome man? And a very nice red shirt. I probably is. Hey, hey, Diego Armando. We uh, we might remember that name. <laughs> We might remember that from case one. He's the finest attorney at Grossberg Law Offices. Hell yeah. No, I, oh, I mean, I don't think that's true, sir. It's my first day in court, sir. Yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of, I, I don't know, courageous, brave. Stupid. All of the above. Ooh, I love good news. Ah, okay. Fresh prosecutor too. Oh no, I know who the prosecutor is. Oh that no, that's actually real bad for us. Yeah, he's learned the reputation as a genius, has he? Uh-oh.
<laughs> I think some people might, uh, might be realizing who it is we're gonna be up against here. Portrait on the case select screen last week, perhaps. <clears throat> Mine is innocent of both crimes. All right, February 16th, 10 a.m. In we go. <laughs> New judge or old judge, I guess. And, uh, Old friend and some really spiffy duds. He, he decided to get, uh... Less ostentatious later on in life. Uh, it's a new prosecutor. Yeah, here he is! Baby Edgeworth! He's... he's a baby! <laughs> thanks, thanks, Armando. I mean, you sure can lose to someone younger than you. Alright. Yeah, this is Canada Judge, yes. Judge. Yeah, Edgeworth's first case is the slam dunk for the prosecution. Yeah, we're we're fucked. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Don't know what. Well, extortion is also a crime in Japan. That wasn't on the list. Extortion is not a crime in Japan, California. Ah, girl, he threw off the. Oh, that's where the bridge is coming into it. He threw a 14 year old girl off a bridge. What, no decisive evidence? Testimony was that the uh, police woman, perhaps? Hawthorne is also a name we should perhaps uh, perhaps remember. Yes, Edward does the Von Karma finger wag in this. A lot of his mannerisms um, are very Von Karma, which is a uh, really nice touch. Yeah, the victim, huh? Oh boy. That's, uh, that's, that's a pretty, uh... Big motive, huh? There's a few names that we do actually perhaps already know about from the first case of the game. I've already convicted him guilty! Guilty, guilty, guilty! All right, <laughs> yeah, he's just like, defendant's guilty. Gotta, gotta convict him right now. No, why would I hear the case? Lunch. <laughs> the wink. Oh, I love young Edgeworth. What a jerk. He's like, well, I've seen enough and there's a buffet. 
Ooh, detective. Oh, we've got baby Gumshoe too. Look at his uh, nice, nice uh, beige jacket. Aww. Don't be mean to Gumshoe. Wow! Gumshoe, please no. Please, please no. You're being a creep. You're being a creep! No, stop it! Good, thank you, Edgeworth. Shut down the creepiness, thank you. Stab in the back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, good, yeah, we got a little, uh, little d distance thing there. That's five yards. I finally know approximately what a yard is. top of the bridge. That seems a bit... Yeah, we're gonna see this image a fair amount, just to warn you. <laughs> Stabbing her in the back carries the victim back to his car. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Ah, they want to put an even more uh, Bobby gum shoe in, but they didn't have room in the car. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that makes sense. Ah, uh, no traces of blood on the bridge, you say? That's a bit weird. Uh-oh, uh-oh, conjecture is like... No, no. Conjecture is... I love conjecture, actually. Okay, sure. <laughs> oh my goodness, his wide eyes are terrifying. This were in Mia's first case, which was six years ago. Uh, he's just like the other judge that we saw when Phoenix... First in and look at me's trial. This was the judge that was there, I think. At least the model of him. But I am Mia's with uh, Diego Armando, the best lawyer at Grossburg. <laughs> and perhaps somewhat familiar? Uh-huh, unknown person, phone and asked to meet. Went to the dusty bridge. Wow, harsh bro. All right, seems cut and dry, guilty. Guilty, guilty, guilty. This judge really wants to find this man guilty, huh? Naturally. All right, here we go. Cross examination. Diego's gonna tell us how we do it again. Woo! Hey, Diego, is that your like third cup of coffee? Do you only take 17? <laughs> Stay calm. Uh, this is 
is fine. This is fine. All right, unknown, uh, unknown person, you say. No idea who it was, huh? But why'd you say unknown if you know who it is? Why'd you say unknown then? Well then, your testimony was a fucking lie, Gumshu! You jerk! She like write the quotation marks herself, you think? Wear white scarf for identification. Talk to Dahlia. Tell her this time the whole truth must come out. So, uh, hmm. Dahlia, huh? So, uh, uh if you were maybe remember the first case, um, Dahlia's name was Dahlia Hawthorne. <laughs> so dopey in this portrait, wow. <laughs> Diego's got the, uh, the eyebrows in this one. Uh-oh. Well, I love asking questions when I don't already know the answer. He did say unknown person because he is a fucking asshole. <laughs> Alright, Edgeworth's a fucking asshole. He does have a very cute face. Like, you're not wrong. He's very adorable in this one. Yeah, yeah, like, the Phoenix's MO is asking questions to which he does not know the answer. <laughs> That's all he does. Kidnapped a young girl, chased onto a bridge, killed his hostage. Oh boy. Uh oh. Are you the seal of the crime? Oh no, not brutally murdered. Let her know on her desk about it. All right. So after the the boot of her car, his car. Sure, sure, you don't want to walk with the body. He stole a car? Oh, okay. Oh no! Uh, well, I guess it depends, Judge. Is car theft a crime in Japanifornia or not? Like, is, is that actually a crime? I only have, like, three confirmed crimes. O okay. Yeah? 
No, but she was dead, so she didn't care. Alright, let's have a look at that photo. Okay. Well, you know, this is Phoenix Wright Land. We can have suspension bridges and traffic lights. Uh, okay, Diego. Like, calm down, buddy. I have a stuck in her back nice and firm. You could have put that bear away, Gumshoe. Not anything strange or noteworthy. I don't see anything strange to be interesting. I didn't do it! I didn't do it! Didn't do it. <laughs> he did steal a car. <laughs> oh, the puppy dog eyes. Precisely. Why did you set up a police checkpoint? <laughs> Unlike your usual police work, Gumshoe. It sucks. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 30 minutes to go from the bridge to the checkpoint. Ah, okay, that was convenient timing. What's up, Diego? Yeah, I mean, we're kind of just gonna have to walk right into this trap, though, aren't we? I mean, I, unfortunately... Yeah... We're gonna have to get, uh, slam right into, uh... Rather unfortunately, slam right into the trap. So, uh, so if you remember, it says her note says she'd be wearing a white scarf. She is very clearly not wearing a white scarf in the photo. So, uh, we're gonna present the note. Uh, uh. <laughs> what's up, Mia? What? What's up? <laughs> oh, Mia. <laughs> what? You're what now? Too young for coffee? You have to be 21 to drink coffee in, in Japan, Fortnite? Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we all know what's about to happen. Armando is absolutely talking down to us at all times. It's great. I love him. So smug and great. Yeah. Well, Ezra has the scarf, doesn't he, you fucker? Why do you keep withholding evidence, you fucking asshole? You're not supposed to do that. That's clearly not a white scarf, that's blue. Well, Edgeworth, you're not supposed to do that. I think anyone this is how I win cases, it's true. Is that 
you mean it's broken the rules of the chain of evidence? I don't know. They were brought up last game and I feel like the, the three games just sort of ignore the rules of evidence law whenever it suits them. The time room of the crime scene is not a crime in Japan, Aquaria. Like I said, we have three crimes that have been confirmed. Murder, theft, and kidnapping. That's it. Those are the only three crimes. Evidence law is extremely fake. I am not finished embarrassing myself. No! What a jerk. Sneaky and he makes shit up. Big time for some crime scenes. <gasps> an eyewitness! Well, I can already see a little bit of a problem with this. It's fine. behind when you're standing in front of them. But we do know that Professor Layton and Phoenix Wright universes are in fact in the same universe. There's the crossover game. Which maybe I'll stream one day because I did enjoy that one. Who took the photo? Yes! Bring the witness! Huh. 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 Well. I feel like we gotta perhaps make them bring out this witness. He's guilty! 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 The judge really, really, really wants to find this guy guilty. Like, so... He wants to bag his gavel and get out of here before the lunch rush. It's like chicken wing day and they go real fast. Yes, yes, typically speaking. Objection. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, this Canadian judge is out for blood. Sure does, Gumshoe. All right, gonna have to find a good reason why. All right, exit team. My witness shows the Vic wearing the scarf. It sure does. All right. Is it a ghost? Ooh. This 
just it's just some clouds. All right, let's have a look. So we have a scarf that's all muddy. Do this photo. Get like a nice look at it. A ghost? It is a little hard to see what's going on. Seems like going out on a bridge uh, would be a terrible idea. A very rickety old half fallen down bridge. Instead of brutal, you don't pronounce the T's. Nice Diego being like, we've got a contradiction. ghosts in this series ever. It's fine. Alright, so we're gonna go to this one. Shove from behind. Well, that seems inaccurate. We're gonna present the, uh... I think it's this one, actually. Uh, if you shove from behind on it, or front her jacket would be dirty I think is like where it's going here like her jacket is fine if we have a look at the two uh two things there her coat is not muddy but if the scarf got muddy from being on the bridge then the coat would he shoved her down and stabbed her in the back on the ground I I'm gonna save. Uh, before I fuck it up, it's fine. Uh, I think this is where we're going with this. It's either that or it's the uh, the witness photo, but I think it's. Dry coat. All right, so yeah, I think if we just like present the coat, right, right here, victim's coat. Yeah, good. Mhm. Mm it's just, just a coat, ma'am. Wet and muddy and gross. Ha! Owned. <laughs> oh no, his gorgeous playoff beard. 
beard was befouled. However, I mean, it must be if the scarf got muddy, though. <laughs> It'd be wet, but not muddy. Yeah, he's definitely Canadian. Yes, we can. Stop being a little bit sexist, Diego. All right. Oh, Edgeworth, when he was younger, was very ostentatious. I mean, his coat looks like um, Von Karma's, which is also another neat thing. Like, a lot of his mannerisms uh, and looks and stuff are very, like, Von Karma. And the scarf got muddy. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Edgeworth. Harsh. Oh, so yeah, you're you're much more of a bimbo than Mia. Edgeworth, you you are a himbo. Yeah, Mia's stats are the same as Nick's. It's very very cute. Yes. Well, uh, fuck, I have no idea. Explanation? I don't know. All right. Guess we're gonna have to bluff. comes down to a lie. Either the victim or the witness statement or the testimony. Yeah, I, I think we know what the false evidence is. It's the testimony. We're gonna have a fight in, in chat over who is the himbo of the Phoenix Wright series. Honestly, it's Nick. Phoenix is the himbo of the entire series. Have you seen that man's shoulders? They're huge. Like, Phoenix Wright is ripped under his suit. I love it. All right, yeah. It is the witness testimony. It's bullshit. Hmm, a crucial fact. It will show the victim down from behind and stab her in the back. Double shoot is pretty close, yeah. Is true, says the judge. Mm, yeah. Is this yet another trap from Edgeworth? Truth. Okay. Uh oh, we're probably heading straight into a trap, huh? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So when we saw the events that day, 
Here we go. Witness! Name and occupation! Ha ha! Fucking year again! Yeah, perhaps a familiar face! Wow, dude, wow, dude, she's 19, wow! Wow, wow, wow. Calm the fuck down, you old creepo. Jesus. Jesus Christ, you are horny. Get the fuck out of here. She's not delicate. She's a mass-murdering psychopath. I guess we don't know that yet. In the timeline. Sorry. So we spoiled it by playing case one first. Oh, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. She, she's lying, but currently she says her name is Melissa Foster. I mean, we know that is complete horseshit, and she is, in fact, Dahlia Hawthorne. But, uh, let's, uh, let's play along for now. Hi, Melissa. Nobody brought up when she went under a fake name during the first trial, huh? I didn't show her a picture of the body. Uh oh. Interesting. I I hate this girl with all my heart. Absolute fucking piece of shit. Probably one of the most evil people there's ever been in Phoenix Wright, if I'm honest. Took the photograph and call the cop. I'm sure it'll be that simple. Oh, ah, yes, the map. So, yeah. Uh huh. I guess that ridge wouldn't be in the way. I think that tall cliff would be in the way of you seeing this bridge, though, honey. That doesn't seem accurate. Ooh, camera. Oh, stop creeping on her. Jesus Christ, Judge. Oh, I will make her cry. You can count on it, Judge. Wildflowers. I should have a look. So we now have the camera. A small but powerful model. Well, then that's stupid, honey, isn't it? That sounds like a complete fucking lie. to see wildflowers in the dead of winter where there are no flowers. I do love two people standing on a bridge. Oh, 
You are a peeping Tom, yes. <laughs> wow, Judge. Wow. What an asshole. Very much info. Well, anywho. Oops, sorry. Uh huh. Back we go. Let's press them and start fighting. Oh, that was fighting talk. Eh? Nah. Well, why, why are you crying at that? <laughs> oh, I don't believe you. No, you don't. No, you don't. You have no class. You're an absolute piece of shit. Wait, took a photo of the crucial moment? That doesn't seem right. That everything that she said is a complete and utter lie, yes. Oh, please stop torturing your grandson, Judge. That the crucial moment you say that that is important, huh? Alright. Call the police on your cell phone that does not exist yet. It definitely was tough luck for the criminal. Yeah, Diego was not wrong. Alright, so I think we've noticed the contradiction. It says the crucial moment, but that's not a crucial moment. That's just two people standing on a bridge. That's that's nothing. Oh god, please don't. She was taking selfies. Ah, camera has a timer feature. Take with your own eyes. I love hearing thoughts. Changing testimony is great for me. Helps me find contradictions. Wow, 
Armando, could you calm down, buddy? The camera, it takes some pictures of wildflowers, blah blah blah, two people start fighting. It didn't turn away and tried to run, which only got about 10 yards, which was down the back. Well, that seems uh, a bit suspect, I'm gonna say. Let's have a look at the uh, bridge map. So she tried to turn and run away on a dead end of a bridge. So we, yeah, we can see that the uh, the victim was out on the bridge that is collapsed. There's no, there's no getting over that. So why would she like? She, she, she was trapped. Why would she try to run to a dead end? Testimony is a joke. It's a lie. You're a liar. I will make her cry if I want to. Yeah, in the middle of the bridge. Nowhere to run. Yeah, she'd have hit that end. She'd have fallen off a bridge. <laughs> yeah, she has been lying to the court, which is not a crime in this world, but. Very bad manners. All right, Edgeworth. How are you gonna fix this testimony for her? beginning of this case the five years ago when he was holding the girl hostage on the bridge it, it was difficult to see but the bridge was broken in uh five years ago Coward, it's true. Oh, yeah, I'm sure the bridge just broke conveniently in a half hour during the crime. her up in his arms, carried her over to the car. Uh -huh. Yeah, how did you see that? But yeah, if we look at where she says she was, which is below this cliff, she couldn't have seen, she could see the middle of the bridge, but she couldn't see the car. There's a cliff in the way. Ugh, I hate you so much. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'll get another cup of coffee. Get a latte, hell yeah. Never give in. Alright, let's do this. Uh, picture, picked up a dead weight in his arms, I'm sure. <laughs> Edgeworth is like, no, 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 no. You can't not lead my witness. I'm the only one allowed to lead my witness. She didn't fall down. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Edgeworth. Yeah. Edgeworth is a smart cookie. Carry her to the car. gaping problem, but don't worry about it. Yeah, he's a pretty big man. Well, the fact of the matter is... <laughs> Edgeworth is like, well, he did. A and end off, he did. Interesting. You can just leave the body on top of the bridge, you say? Coffee. <laughs> yeah, don't put salt in coffee. Only Kyoko does that. I don't know any uh, sugar in coffee fans, to be honest. Put salt in your co oh ouch was that like by accident you thought it was like sugar and what I know just puts milk I don't drink either so you know those monks fucking weirdos am I right last statement, although I don't think it will hold anything interesting for us. Hmm, I can get a clear look at his face. <laughs> no, she isn't! She's already lying on the stand! Alright, just uh, run through this again. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I think this is the lie here. Because I it's not really the only way he could have 
get in this body. her body over the side and it would have gone in the river then it wouldn't have been in his car Objection! oh music stopped yeah no edge the silent that's never a good sign Perhaps the girl that fell in, the 14 year old that fell in five years ago. Yeah, in the kidnapping case five years ago, the victim's body was carried away and never found. up there and see how many of them throw it in the river. Couldn't possibly have seen this. Like, is this where we're like, hey, she couldn't possibly have seen the crime? might there we go uh this might be it i feel like now is finally the time and i think it's just yeah how does she know the car was stolen she knows an awful lot of shit and this is definitely where we present the map yet again the map is the most important piece of evidence in this case
Ya. Yeah, there's a big old cliff in the way. Ah. Oops. Not seeing the ghost car. Yeah, it is. Of course it is. Yes, it is. The big cliff. It, yeah, you can see the left side of the bridge and the outcropping. Very tall. How did you know it was stolen? Are we gonna point that out yet? <laughs> That means she lied on the stand, Edgeworth. That's why only what she saw. She was warned. What's up, Judge? Oh, goodness. Yes, you can. I am. I'm perfect, actually. Wow, this, this girl just gets away with murder on the stand, huh? Uh, okay, okay, buddy. Wow. She's lied repeatedly on the stand! All right, roll forward. Mm hmm a stolen car? Yeah, how did she know that? How did she know that he broke into the trunk? That wouldn't have been reported on the news. Uh, how do you know? How do you know that? Yes, but how did you know that? chickens yet. Okay. She, she's the owner of the car. Alright, we're gonna accuse this girl of murder.
Oh, uh, hell! Pop Plickens! Sure was! Oh, he sure could. Yeah? He did steal the car with the car key in it. He would have been in the ignition, it sure was. <laughs> You're the murderer! <coughs> Her camera has a timer! I think it says that on the camera now. Has a timer function! Alright, let's present the camera. The timer function. Sweet camera. <laughs> Correct. I'm trying to say she's the murderer, that she's an absolute murdering piece of shit. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah? I would love to explain further. Okay. Where was she when the incident occurred? It's a good question. Alright, so this is, I think, a little bit of a, of a leap, but not like you can't figure this out. But if we think about it, she, she wasn't here, she put a camera on timer. We think she put the body in the car herself, which means that it's very likely that, um... She killed Yeah, you know, label logic in this series. It's very likely that she's the one who killed Valerie and stuffed her in the trunk, but then our our defendant had to meet someone on the bridge. And you may have noticed the outfit the lady on the bridge is quite you know obscuring the coat, the scarf, the hat. So she was actually uh she dressed up. Yes. Because we know that he didn't remember what Valerie looked like, so she had to wear a scarf, a white scarf. So she dressed up, she killed the victim, dressed up as her, and uh, met with him. Yeah, no time to put the victim in the trunk. Yeah, it must have happened before the defendant met. It's her. It's Melissa. 
What? Not Valerie. It was me, it was me, it was me all along. She was on the bridge. No? True. We're not making this up. This is part of your testimony earlier. Alright, there we go. Victim note. Wear white scarf for identification. That's why I had to wear a scarf. Ah. Well, there we go. Got her in the corner. Got her surrounded. She'll definitely be convicted of murder and never appear in court a year later. So we kind of already know how this is going to play out, how this is going to end. But yeah, Dahlia has like a huge murder count, huh? Assassin. To be continued. All right, thought the the thought is plickening. Things going real good. Hey yo, what's up, bro? What? Oh, jeez. No, please stop. Please stop. We didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. Are you bursting my bubble, Armando? Yeah, why would Melissa Foster... <clears throat> why? Why would someone whose name is completely unconnected to this case? Yeah, who the heck is her and why is her name fake? So we're, found, we're finding out about this incident and we're learning about a previous incident. So there's like an inception of incidents in this game. Hmm. Didn't do nothing. There's just far too many incidents. Yeah, what happened five years ago, buddy? Oh, okay. This is an incident that, uh, reminds of another incident. Wow, Diego, calm down. Oh! 
Why did you, uh... Uh, what now? Wait, girlfriend? Girlfriend? She was 14? Oh, dude, that's, that's not a good look for you, buddy. Oh, boy. Yeah, he did say Hawthorne! Valerie's little sister. Yes, we know the bridge has been broken for five years. Hi, Cleon. Thank you for the follow. No, I'm not watching the football while playing Phoenix. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still crossing the line. Come on. Oh, hello. She was 14, you fucking creep. Absolute fucking creepo, this man. It was planned by Dahlia. Yeah, Dahlia is absolutely, like, evil as fuck. Send it to her dad. Ask for two million dollar diamond. Holy shit. To the river? I mean, she lived, so I guess it was fine, but wow, girl's got guts. truth must come out. But yeah, we definitely know there's some interesting uh, things. And that we now have a profile for Dahlia Hawthorne deceased. Forgot what she looked like. Forgot what your girlfriend looked like too, huh? What's what's up? What's up, Armando? Mm -mm. Where 
is it? Ooh, the diamond! Where's the diamond? I don't know. I don't know, lol. Ah, so Dahlia fucking jumped into the river with the two million dollar diamond and kept it for herself, huh? Wow. This girl is a real, real piece of work, huh? How is she still alive? We're not gonna, not gonna worry about that. Yeah, she's her parasol to float. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 14. Gross. <laughs> yeah. She sure did. This is a. Uh... Yeah, very canny 14 year old, huh? Feeling less and less sorry for you, though, buddy. Alright, got my evidence. Two million dollar gem, uses ransom for Dahlia, lost to the river five years ago. I don't care about any of your rules. She's a murderer. Damn, she murdered her own sister. Fuck. This lady is brutal. That she's not an innocent student. She's a real piece of shit. Yeah, she is. Yes, yeah, she is. She's there on the stand. She's on trial. I'm going to get her convicted of murder. Gauntlet's wrong. <clears throat> Smiles no matter how bad it gets, huh? That's Phoenix Wright for sure, to be honest. <clears throat> Armando does love grinning. Ew, gross, Judge, gross. What would you like to say? You are suspicious. You're a real piece of shit. It is true, and you're the worst. You know, at least Regina in uh, Phoenix Wright 2 was just kind of... Like, she caused a lot of evil in her wake, but like, she herself was just like hopelessly naive. This girl is just the worst. Out of the country. Da -da -da. Never been to Eagle Mountain before. Don't have any reason to want to hurt a police officer. I 
I mean, I mean, I also think he's a real piece of shit, but... Oh yeah, Dahlia is 100% just like... She's, she's really great to hate, to be honest. She's a great villain. Like, she's just downright nasty. Whereas, like, Regina's not supposed to be the villain of case of, uh, like, two of case three. Oh, you are out of the country. Is that code for presumed dead? And sold a two million dollar diamond, huh? Oh, oh no, oh no ID, huh? No birth certificate, huh? Uh, hmm, uh, sure, why not? Showed up out of nowhere. You have no proof that you are indeed Melissa Foster, do you? I do love cold yet romantic gloominess. Objection. Now we're just digging. Cry again. Any reason for wanting to hurt a police officer? Are you sure about that? Yeah, scratches the trunk of the car. fucked up and showed a material witness evidence they had no business showing her and it's like no that didn't happen fuck off about the case five years ago, don't you? Do you just like following random court cases? Oh, the poor policewoman. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Let's push harder on this point. Uh-huh. 
sure. Uh-huh. Alright, things are getting interesting, huh? Uh, let's, let's have that added to the testimony. Everybody's wearing scarves. I he is a horrible, horrible monster, it's true. Make up shit on the spot, huh? What's up? Oh, um, she sure is. She is a killer. We're gonna do our best. All right. So I think here we perhaps present the scarf and the note, or the note. Both? One or the other? A uh, house scarf. Because it is a blue scarf. Hmm? I'm talking about that scarf right there. the following. Guess I'm looking I wasn't wearing a white scarf. Yeah, it's it's a blue scarf. There's a blue and black or white and gold. gonna be a white scarf. Victim's note. No, I've never seen a note. Aha, we're gonna say this was top secret evidence. So unlike a photo of the scratched car, she definitely wouldn't have seen this white scarf note. has fantastic faces. Yeah, it sure wasn't. Yeah, she sure did. Hey, Terry Falls. Valley Hawthorne. One more person. Yeah. And we figured it out. I mean, it isn't hard for us to figure it out because this is the fourth case in the game and the, the first case of the game had her. So it's, uh, yeah, we're gonna present Dahlia Hawthorne. Dahlia Hawthorne. 
I, I have never heard of that name. You should have. I sure am trying to bring the dead back to life. Body never recovered. And we all know if a body is never recovered in comic books or TV shows or video games, that means they didn't die. Was she? I'm implying she's still alive. She fell off the bridge, but her body was never recovered. Oh, so yes, this is a different judge. This is a Canadian judge. This is Canada, eh? I could! I am saying, Edgeworth. I'm flicking my bangs at you sarcastically. repeatedly on the stand is related to the case. Oh, yes, it's true. Uh, prosecutors and police never do background checks on anyone. How on earth could she be an accidental witness to the crime, to the murder of her sister? Oh, she just happened to be on the cliff? kill me like that's not something that like a good person does but he's on death row for the murder of her and she's alive like that's shitty he's he's innocent of the first crime turn about his fair play though nope 
evidence, Armando? Alright, what evidence she got, Armando? <laughs> this crazy motherfucker right here. What are you calling are you calling Diego an old man? <laughs> yeah, but she's an idiot. No. We're fine. All right, let's have our... What move would that be? Whoa. I think perhaps this, uh, this note might tell the tale here. Actually, we ought to see how old he is. Uh, 27. So it's a 20-year-old, he's ancient. Gonna reveal the whole truth. I do love fiction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, only one important secret, that would be the diamond. And I'm 31? Jesus. I'm gonna be 32 this year. How old? <laughs> oh my god. I hate you so much, Judge. Holy shit. You get that he's Canadian, though. He called her his maple leaf. Only Canadians do that. All right, here we go. We're gonna put her away from murder. I I never remember my age. I kind of just have to try and work back from the year. Brought to the bridge. Made the exchange. She shot Mr. Fowles. Yep. Yeah, mm hmm. Tried to kill me with showing me off the bridge. No, you don't let a, a man go to prison for murder, like death row for murder. She sure did, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I will never be gentle. Look at the ace of her sleeve. Okay. I've definitely forgotten already. Oh, no, it was all fake. Secrets. All right, let's go. Pretty sure we're close to the end of this case. Uh... You were tutoring, uh, no, okay. He was tutoring you. 
Use to describe Mr. Files. This game does come back to Sonic Adventure 2 more than Kingdom Hearts, yes. The Faker? There's two games we play. Everything is either Sonic Adventure 2 or it's Kingdom Hearts. Two million dollar pint of milk. place to arrange a, uh, a kidnapping. No! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure. Have you talked to him? He's not the sharpest tool in the shed, guys. It's true, the judge puts his uh, milk in bags. Got him in the arm. That's rude. That is a dangerous thing to do. Stop embellishing, please. into that rare rare for sure. What paperwork? She just had no paperwork. Yeah, I think you killed her real good actually. Wow dude. I mean it's true, but wow. Shot in the arm. Kind of we're shoving off the bridge. Hmm. What have I got here? Um. Kind of the only evidence that would be relevant.
is the fridge mat. Stuff from behind. Hmm. I'm like looking at it trying to figure out what like Is the contradiction here? I'm not sure. Maybe that she should have fallen. Idalia yeah, had the diamond on her. Which I'm pretty sure we'll bring up later. I think I'm gonna make a guess here. <laughs> I, I can guess, right? Um, I'm not entirely certain of this, but I think I'm going to present the, the kind of the only like there are only like yeah the diamond and the bridge map are kind of the only things relevant. To the kidnapping case, so I'm gonna take a punt. Wrong button. And say the map. said that's impossible would it have been because it would have pushed her onto the rock thing uh -huh, hasn't changed one bit so like she would have been like dumped on the rocks yeah okay i mean i'm not sure that's like pushed from behind though but sure okay I think maybe instead of push from behind, like push me backwards would kind of be more what it's going for. Maybe been higher. I should have fallen to the side, but if she was like facing the side and was pushed from behind, she'd fall into the river. No. So I, I think more what they're going for is like was pushed backwards off the end of the bridge instead of like pushed over the side. Let me have a look at this. Yeah, yeah, it's very hard to push someone over the side because the ropes are very tall. That's that's what it was going for. Like I think that was just like worded a little poorly. But I, I, I get it. I get it. I, I did manage to get there. So. We start off the side of the bridge. No, it's wrong. <laughs> uh huh. No, it hasn't. I'm not done. Impossible. Uh 
I think here it's the witness photo because we can see that the wires of the bridge are really tall. Okay, I mean it took doing a punt, but I, I have, we have gotten there. Sometimes you do like, like sometimes you are just sitting there being like, I'm not entirely sure what the game is wanting of me and you should probably just like, Okay, look through your evidence, see what might, like, like, hear what is relevant, what is definitely not relevant, and take a punt. That wouldn't have been, yet yeah, he would have had to pick her up, though. Yeah? Yeah, it would have been hard to pick up a 14-year-old, a struggling 14-year-old, and uh, throw her over. Ah. What is the meaning of this? Ridiculous remark. Sure, it would have. He was really stupid, actually. Diamond. The diamond is, uh... Yeah, she took that diamond. $666,667. She would have had the bigger share. Just, uh, wasn't, wasn't enough for her. Oh, hello! Oh, we're doing it. We're breaking her. Yeah. Yes. Have you ever met a 14-year-old? It's always really funny whenever anyone says, do you really think, like, a teenager could be so awful? It's like, have you ever been in a high school? Ever? Do you not remember when you were 14? Yeah, have you met kids? They're fucked up, to be honest. Like, it really is genuinely funny to me when people are like, kids couldn't possibly do something like this. It's like, yeah, of course they can. Self in. <laughs> it's worth having a moment. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a pretty evil plan. He he right there. Uh oh. Masks off. I mean, it was a case from five years ago. Well... Damn. Unfortunately, we have no evidence. Currently, anyway. Yeah, she probably sold it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! God, I hate this. I hate her so much. I hate her so much! Armando, help me out, buddy! <laughs> Mine was like, this makes some evidence. Hell yeah, make the rules. There is still testimony, and there's someone we haven't heard from. That's right. Only one answer. One person left. You can testify. All right. <clears throat> yeah, we can't prove they were guilty of a different crime. Guilty it is for our client. Like, there's really no evidence that our client did it, but like, you know, that's that's fine. All right, Terry. 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 I mean, yeah. Good, is it? Uh oh. Uh oh, we've got. Oh dear, we've got yet another another man who won't testify against uh, his beloved Dahlia, don't we? Oh shit. It's never very good, is it? Piece of shit, though, Terry. Uh oh. Oh, balls, why are we letting her talk to him? Uh 
Um, damn it, why are we letting her talk to him? Fuck, that's, that's bad for us. <laughs> we should have objected immediately. Do not give this man any coffee, Jesus Christ. He does not need to be amped up even more. RPM, stop the car in front of the bridge. She wasn't there. She waited. Watch the car and there put no body in it. Finally a woman came, stood in front of me. Talked and she left. Okay. Yeah, maybe we end up with enough overflow and helping. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Man, we're about to lose our first case, huh? Balls. Hey, uh, Ormando, could you like help me out a bit more, buddy, pal, friend? Arrived early. Uh. Yeah, sure is. Uh I'm sure. The woman came, stood in front of me. That seems like a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> Stop telling little lies, buddy. Dark at 4.30? Ouch. I guess February, so winter. What more needs to be said? Yeah, you fucking whipped. Man, why are all these men so whipped for Dahlia? She's not even that pretty. 
God damn it. Like, she's so damn fake. Yeah, maybe she has brainwashing powers. Anyway, uh, I think this is the lie because she's on the bridge and he's not- he came. She was obviously waiting on the bridge for him. Attention! Not the other way around. True, red hair is anime shorthand for exotic beauty. You're not wrong. You're making him cry now. Why are we making everyone on the stand cry? I feel bad for making him cry. Like, Dahlia, don't give a shit. Him, that's sad. Don't make this poor, very, very confused, obviously being used man cry. Sure is the victim on the end of the bridge. Look at this. You do a lot of look at this photograph in Phoenix, right? Now we're getting there. You gave him coffee, of course he's gonna be worked up. It's true, we did make Nick cry as well at the start. Like, Mia just has a real habit of making people cry. Ah, an old temple. Brought a memento! Ho ho ho! Pinned it under the base of the tree! Oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! I've never seen that, uh... Still got a chance. We're gonna get this lady convicted of murder. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. This. traumatize anyone and stop them from going into court even for a year. 
Technically, didn't lose the case. Technically, neither of you lost that case. Didn't seem to mind. <clears throat> Not all that interested. Wow. Yadalia absolutely won for sure. <clears throat> Armando was pissed. Oh man, he is so mad. It's not not your fault, honey. Yeah, don't get salt in my coffee. No, oh no, for Mia. Oh, the theme's kicking in. In case you didn't already know. <laughs> oh jeez, no oh buddy! Wow! Dude, dude, oh my god! Yeah, why does Armando have, have Goto's theme? How weird! Yes, and we do know that Dahlia went on to kill uh, Diego and this dude. So obviously Armando uh, was trying to like put her away from murder and she killed him. And she killed an early guy to cover up that crime. Man, I don't like this weird filter effect. Yeah, smashing the call. Yeah, he he was super, super pissed off. Uh, I mean, your name's Phoenix right? How could you be more wrong? Oh no. Alright, that's the end of case four. Alright, the fifth and final case, Bridge to the Turnabout. This is probably my favorite case of, uh, of the trilogy. Like, this is probably the one case that, like, I remember super well. A lot of the other cases I've forgotten <clears throat> at least some of, if not all of it. But, like, um, th this case, I, I love this case. This is absolutely my favorite case of the entire uh, first trilogy. Let's see what awaits us. I'm not saying that word again. The seven branched sword. Like there may be a reason why this is my favorite case. It's a bit of a shallow reason, but I, you know, it's fine. Actually has like seven points, but don't worry about it. Oh, 
Oh, is uh Is is that good? That's, that's fine, right? All right. Well, wow. let us uh save. Uh, it's the time screen. So, yeah, I, I wanted to get through all of case four today because uh, although it went for like two and a half hours, it's pretty normal for these streams. And yeah, we're gonna get to case five, which I really, uh, I really like case five. Uh, this is probably the case I remember uh, the most about. So I uh, probably fly through this case pretty as briskly as you can fly through a final case and it's just, you know, they're always long. But uh, I, I remember a lot of this case uh, and uh, it's, it's a great conclusion to the entire trilogy and really puts 1-5 um, to shame because 1-5 is fucking awful. But this one, this one's great. So next week we will start case 5 and we'll see how many streams that takes. Uh, tomorrow we are back with a uh, new Pokemon Snap. Uh, we think maybe the final stream of it? Guess we'll see. We're on like the, the fifth and maybe final island. Who knows, maybe they'll find another island that, that nobody has ever noticed before. Yeah, join us tomorrow for new Pokemon Snap and next week let's start case five. We'll see you then. Bye everyone.